All right, g'day everyone. Um, this is um, a mono walker. This is what I'll be using for the BNT. Um, I'm slightly kidding it out at the moment now. Um, I'm just trying to walk out, work out the uh, water situation. Normally I'd carry a jerry can in this section here. 15 litre or 20 litre jerry can, but I didn't like the idea of having just one type of water source. Because if it's got a hole in it, I'll be um, in the middle of nowhere if, uh, not being able to carry any water. So. I've devised a way of chain linking bottles to this system. So I've got carburetors with ring um, pull things, key rings, and um, so I've attached them to that and that. And with the attachments on the neck, I've used brake lines for push bikes. And these things have got little nylocks on them, so they won't vibrate loose and if any of these bottles get a hole in them I don't really care because I can just throw them away um, when I get to the next station and um, grab another one and just um, refill it so I can either carry 3 litres, 1.5, 2 litres and I've got um, then capacity to carry 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 litres of water on the rear which won't push any weight on the bar which means it won't push any weight in my shoulders so all the weight will be over the wheel and that's what I've been trying to aim for to get the weight off that crossbar because even though it's 20 kilos of water it um, puts a bit of weight on your shoulders at the end so hopefully hopefully it all works you can see the rear bottle that's hanging off there so it should work okay I hope that's my gear I've got uh, there's my cooking gear um, my chamois for having showers um, wherever that may be, um, goggles, um, going through the bush, I've got um, gloves, uh, wet weather shoes, um, also to be used in the shower. Um, last thing I want to get <laughs> when I do it stay at campsites is tinea. I've had that before and it's not very nice. Um, so it ropes, pump, extra straps, um, cable ties, clothesline, wash basin, little seat pad, weighs absolutely nothing but you know, it saves sitting in the dirt. Um, first aid kit, and this is a bunk bed I've got, um, this thing. Um, unless it's on perfectly flat ground, it's absolutely pointless, so out she goes, won't be using that at all. Um, wash basin, of solar panels, um, they're 25 watts. Um, they can easily charge up two phones or a phone and a um, um, battery pack. Um, I do have a 30,000 milliamp battery pack I'll be taking with me, and probably another, another backup by another 15,000 milliamp battery pack. Um, that sits on the bag, charges up as we walk on, as I'm walking through the daytime. A little tool kit. It's got um, leather shoe repair, um, water pump, water fuel, um, water um, filter, multi-tool, um, and assorted other bits and pieces and so on. Um, these are little things here. These are cellulose tablets, um, cloths. So they come like that, and what you do is you add a bit of water to them, and they come up like this. So they can be used for um, towelettes, um, emergency toilet paper. Um, cooling cloth and stuff like that and so on. Um, let me move on to our dry bags. I've got to get another dry bag, I think, for some extra gear. Um, playing cards when I get bored, if I get bored. Uh, um, my big pack, that's where all that fits into is that, and I've got, and I've got plenty of room inside my tent. So this is my tent, I'll be sleeping in that for, uh, for the next 12 months. One man tent. In here, I've got um, a couple of sleeping, um, a couple of sleeping um, pillows. Um, Two dollar ones from Kmart. I'm not going to buy the. I've had the expensive ones before. They get a puncture in them. They don't last. Two dollar ones are much better. Um, that's a minus two sleeping bag. Um, you may think I probably don't need that, but I've been out west near Inner Hot Springs through winter time. And it gets down to minus two sometimes out there, and it's freezing. 
So I've got my Thermarest sleeping pad, excellent sleeping pad, it's only small but it does the job, and my um, thermal shield between the ground and me. Um, my tent, right, um, it was waterproof sort of, but as usual, nothing's waterproof exactly. So I jumped online to see what I could find about other things and make it waterproof. And the best thing I've found, and I think it works fantastically, and I've had it for now for two years, and it's still like brand new, is a silicon treatment to it. So what I'm talking about silicon treatment is you get um, um, silicon and a bit of methylated spirits, and you mix it up into a, um, a slimy solution, and you paint it on. So when it comes out, it, it, it impregnates the nylon right down to the core, and it's and um, what happens is the metho just um, um, just dissipates and evaporates, leaving a very thin, strong silicon waterproof. Now, I've had this thing sitting under a sprinkler for two hours, and not one drop of water gets in. Where I've been in showers before, and uh, um, within about half an hour, you get drips down the side and everything. Yeah, so I've done the base twice to make it really waterproof. The seams get a different type of um, solution, so I think it's about, I can't remember what the solution is, but it's online. Um, if I find it, I'll, I'll, I'll attach it to the video. And um, yeah, but it works a treat, honestly, if, if um, it's a so cheap way of doing it, and it works. It's been a bushy trick for decades, and, um, and um, normally do it on canvas and everything else, but this works perfectly on nylon as well. And it um, makes it a little bit sticky, but um, when you roll it up and peels apart and so on, but it works perfectly. And um, that's my gear, so all of it fits in on that mono walker. Um, with the mono walker, it has a specialised harness okay, that attaches, specialised harness that attaches. It's, um, it's got quick, re quick release mechanism on it, so um, the pack you're carrying, if it's um, starts falling away or you're not too safe with it and stuff like that you can just do it to, to, um, pull those little pull these little tabs and it just drops away and um, that can go fall down wherever it wants to fall down and you go pick it up later on but it, you're safe that's a complete waterproof bag um, once everything's in it it's dry but I've just got some dry bags extra dry bags just in case and my panniers uh, 25, 20 litres, and that's where all my food will go. I've got another little bag coming on top, and that will hold my cooking gear and fuel on top, and the rest will be fuel, fuel and you can see where my water now sits. So one bottle there, um, and two bottles there on either side. So that'll be two three litre bottles, and on there, so three, so nine litres on nine litres on both sides, and that should balance me right out. Put all the weight in the rear wheel, which means no weight for me on the shoulders. It makes it easier, um, and um, yeah, yeah. So it's pretty much how I'm going to get big kitted up. I've got a few other things, electronics to bring with me, um, batteries and so on, and, and that's about it. Thanks. Gear all packed, and there's my gear all packed up, ready to go. Walk around. Saddle panels on top. Keep everything nice and charged. And away we go. All done. Just gotta wait for one more bag to turn up. And that's it. Today's modification is I'm going to put a little shield along this strip here um, with the tires exposed to the back end of my gear sitting on it. Um, I don't like the aspect of it so I'm going to make a little plastic shield up, go up over the tire and maybe over the back and that will mud guard at the back as well. Um, I'm using 150ml downpipe. Um, it's quite thick, but light and strong. So I'm in the process of melting that down to see.
see how it goes. Okay, and there's the um, platinum product. Uh, one 250 mil pipe heated up, flattened out. I'm pretty happy with that. Now we can just uh, get on with it and um, now cut, mould and fit it to the walker. Okay. So she's all done. Bit of mucking around and um, got some of the panels all in place. Bolted down with a couple of nylocks so that won't vibrate off. The um, panny is fitted okay. Had to do a little trimming with some handles and that in there. And made a little mud flap for the back as well. Um, so the, you now the bottle fits the other way around and gets supported at the back. Um, the added advantage of having that panel go all the way through is it was easier to attach the bag to it than what it was to try to attach it to the actual frame of the mono walker. So that works out better too and the bottles fit okay. And um, next job now is to fit a machete to the frame. Um, I'll probably put it up about here I think. So um, uh, my friend of mine um, Stephen Long, good day, Mr. Stephen Long. How are you? Um, Inform me, I should look at getting a machete because of the wild pigs up there, so um, up in North Queensland. So, yeah, we went out and got a machete and um, for bush bash and, and protection. And um, you now it's time to fit that. Same type of concept, I've got a bit of um, plastic tubing. I'll mould it down, heat it down, and then frame it up to um, support the machete. Let's see how it goes on that one. Okay, and the machete's in place. So, again, I've got some plastic tubing, just melted it down, nice and flat, tied on the cable ties, a bit of gaffer tape, and it's right in the centre. So, it should just pull it straight out, and slide straight back in. Nice and firmly. I should be able to access that quite easily as I'm pulling, the, pulling it and um, whether I'm towing it or pushing it so it's easy access if need be so I think that's all I need to do to it now everything's all set up ready to go just got to wait um, next job is now to finalise the mapping and um, and um, start doing some recipes for food and then start getting in contact with the body along the track. Alright, see you next time.